Now this is a channel that we see everyone. We are talking about how to make a YouTube channel plus how to upload videos in a proper manner. So here we have opened youtube.com through your Gmail ID. If you do not have an account on YouTube as a channel owner, then it will show you create a channel. If you already have a channel, then it will not show you create a channel. It will show you your channel button. So I can click on create a channel. When I'll click on create a channel, it is going to give me this kind of a, a journey or a tutorial thing. So I can see that it says this and I can click on get started as well. And then I can see what other things it will say. I need to have a name which will be the representative name, which can be uh, some name which is which is coming from the Google account. Or it can also be a name that I, I can give like uh, uh, to the account which is made the channel which is made can be named as uh, learn public speaking these are the names i'm suggesting like learn pub public speaking and presentation skills so this is the name i've given 100 characters are allowed learn public speaking and presentation skills clicked create i'm creating a channel now so this channel is being created this is a creation of the channel, not uploading. Uploading happens later on. The content that you will be preparing, you can upload. And we are just waiting for the channel to appear and the channel will be sent to you all. So channel successfully created. Congratulations. Now it is asking us upload a profile picture and it will tell us that we can write the description also. It matters a lot when it comes to speaking skills most of us f-u-m-b-l-e fumble most of us impress and most of us sometimes wander between these two stages of learning on this channel we will share with you the tips that work to make one a sensible speaker now on this channel yes done grammarly suggested this now we can write more add links to your site my website okay i have a website so if I have a website, then I can bring that link and that link can be pasted here. I can bring something. I can give it a Facebook link also. I can give it a Twitter link also. I can give it the Instagram link also. All these links will be there as you will see. A photo, this image, this upload picture is there. I have to upload a picture. So what I'll do, I'll simply go and find out whether I have uh, some image to be uploaded. Let me see. I'll upload an image and the image can be can be this one where I see myself speaking and then I'm uploading it. There are certain dimensions. There are certain permissions of the size of that image that we can do image uploaded. Now I can close it, save and continue. I'm setting up the channel everyone. So this is here, I'm saving the profile image, the links to different profiles. I have given a description after creating a channel. If you remember, the channel started with learning that public speaking thing. So here we won't see that P anymore. We are going to have that learnings L. So this is the channel learn public speaking. The channel's first letter is that one. So that is the thing which will appear. We are customizing the channel now. Hello YouTube says to you and the studio is a new one now i don't want to learn it so because it's a new studio for me i have used the older one and the new one for you this one is the exact one so here it is branding i can upload the banner image i can click here and a banner image can be uploaded minimum dimensions have been given so i can design it and then bring it video watermark can be uploaded so I can upload a video watermark. Every video which will be played will have this watermark. So this is about uploading the information only. The layout is here. I can click on create. 
the moment I click on create it says upload the videos or go live to go live I have to verify this account and it will take 24 48 hours to get the permission that this channel becomes eligible to go live otherwise upload the videos here it is my dear friends upload the videos you click on upload the videos you select the file or you drag and drop I'm going to select a file just a sample file and then uh, uh, you will be able to see how it is uploaded so i go to desktop i go to uh, channel and then i see yes this is the butter okay this is the sparrow pic video i'm uploading a video i connected i searched the video in my system and i attached it this is the name of the file dear friends so you have to change it like give it a title so this is a bird at home and on the channel when you're uploading the video these are the common things most of us know but let me tell you the specific things that we are going to have the descriptions life is B E A U T I beautiful for all of us let's allow everyone to enjoy it this is grow trees grow trees because birds live there so we can write the description that we want to now this can be corrected T H E R E. I can write more description 5000 characters can be added this is one thing now comes the turn of the thumbnail thumbnail is the icon that you see on the videos which are being shown to people thumbnail is the image which you see first like this one this one or this one they'll click on play and then it will get played but before that this is what you see now you can even upload a custom thumbnail this is if you have already have playlists then fine otherwise this is the new work playlist it is public i'm going to keep this playlist private for me so that i am adding them to a folder but i don't want people to see the playlist so new work this has been added to new work now most important thing i'm not sure how many of us have been doing it wrong or right many of us are the yes men people in this uh, world of 21st century so we simply say yes it is made for kids no if you make it for kids then no comments no personalized advertisements are allowed and believe me there is one observation that i had that most of the kids are watching this thing on the parents mobile phones and parents age is there with google so there's a trouble that uh, kids accounts are not there so i always go with no it is not made for kids so that it's permitted everywhere and people can comment it can be played on bigger screens as well the restrictions are not placed if it is yes for kids then there are so many restrictions which are legal restrictions and which are valid also so that no wrong thing goes to children age restriction i'm saying no anybody otherwise viewers over 18 now more options click on more options here you add tags these are the terms through which you believe people might be searching you type a word and press enter this is e a r v w -E, e n sharma type a word press enter or type a word or put a comma Raveen sharma this is now free v i video b i r d -L. this kind of tags we can add uh, 500 so the character limit is is there we have got 95 characters used so we can do this now this one uh, but standard youtube license means copyright creative commons means people are free to use it they can cite it and they do anything if i say not allowed then people cannot embed it then we click on next here category people blog or uh, select the category that you want to we are keeping it pets and animals so means this video is pets and animals and then next what i have done dear friends i have given it a title description tags no not for kids this screen you can skip next here is the significant portion please click on unlisted see uh, we have got private unlisted and public everyone this is a suggestion from my side that please 
go with unlisted if you have got any possibility of any correction if you click on unlisted your subscribers will not get a notification and only those who have a link will see so you can confirm it from your one or two proof readers that everything is okay otherwise you keep it private it means you have just saved it it is not public if you make it public then everybody is able to search it unlisted also has another benefit for teachers rather than uploading your videos on google drive and then sharing the link and forcing the students torturing them to spend a lot of internet and downloading and then watching you can make it unlisted and then save and only those who have the link will be able to watch it that is what you want even if you are uploading on google drive or you are sending up some kind of a controlled communication so have the habit of having it unlisted and then you click on save now this video is saved uploaded and i'm going to share the link with all of you and you will watch it and you see i can embed it i can share it anywhere so this is copy this is one thing one more step that i would suggest that you should have in your mind is this is the channel dear friends so your channel youtube account and all these things are there so i'll go to this button called settings which is on the left hand side and on this setting left hand side this is a very significant tip for the new youtuber teachers go to settings on the uh, when you are opening this studio.youtube.com go to upload defaults upload default means if you are uploading something and you forgot to change its name by default this will appear this will always appear the topic might come later but this will always appear description is you can write a description that will automatically be there now visibility i have a habit of suggesting that keep the default as unlisted make it public through the smartphone application or through the laptop smartphone application install youtube studio there you can change the visibility the first visibility is unlisted ideally unlisted and uh, then tags any tag that i add now will be a default tag for any video to be uploaded further so that is a beautiful feature so i'll click on save means now any video that i'm uploading suppose i click on create and i click on upload and i'm uploading a video like now and i'll be uploading a video do not upload any video which is a copyright infringement do not upload the videos which have some music which is copyrighted in the background so you can have free music from pixabay even youtube has got a, an audio library everyone see i didn't do anything the name i added as default has appeared here and the category i'll show you this one this one can also be given a default option more i'll show you that unlisted is also there so i'll click on next before that i have to click on no it is not made for kids next and i again say next and you see i am not doing anything and this is unlisted by default so i click on save unlisted if i give you the link only then you will be able to see it otherwise you won't be able to find it on youtube so that is what we do unlisted and saved i can schedule it also so it can come the benefit of making your students see things on youtube is they can even watch it at 144 can be watched on 1080 dimensions also so that way Uh, that saves internet or that allows them to decide what kind of uh, uh, content uh, quality they want to watch here dashboard videos playlists analytics are also there comments people give will be there and uh, the channel defaults are found in settings